Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tip number 54, where we'll be discussing the new crouching mechanic that was added to the game. In experimental build 8800 via PR number 29092, a new crouching mechanic has been added to aid characters in sneaking around the Cataclysm. So I wanted to talk just a bit about the crouching mechanic, what it's for and what it does, giving a demonstration, as well as some recommendations for some possible hotkey changes, depending on your personal preferences. So first, a demonstration. Here we have our little elf man in his clown shoes and his pointy ears, standing in a field with clear weather and bright light. And we've got some zombies just north of us. I'll zoom out. And we'll see where these zombies are located. That's them right there. And then we'll check the distance. You can see they are 20 spaces away from me. Now normally, under these kinds of conditions, with the light and the open terrain and such, those guys would be able to see me from where I'm at currently. Notice they do not have the little exclamation point indicating that they know where I'm at. So, I'm going to pass just a few turns. And you can see them... Doing a little bit of wandering around, and still, they're not rushing towards me to eat my brains, so that indicates they don't know where I'm at. The reason for that is I have a table behind which I am crouching. So, this is just a table built via the construction menu, and if you examine the table with the examine key, when you highlight it, notice in the upper right, the information window, it has a note that says coverage 50%. Now, I'm not going to get into the formulas of exact distances and how these ranges are calculated, but it's enough to know the general purpose. Basically, if you are crouching behind an item that has a coverage stat like this, it will cut down the distance at which the enemies can spot you. So that's what we're benefiting from currently. Because I am crouching down behind a table that has 50% coverage rating, the distance from which the zombies were able to to be able to detect me visually is shorter than it normally would be. They would usually, I'm going to guess, just at a rough estimate, be able to see me out to about 45 squares or so. So right now we're sitting at about 20 and they cannot see me. We'll just let some more time pass. Still not rushing towards me. Now watch what happens when I step out from the edge of the table here. Let me get to a comfortable zoom level. Whoops. So I'm going to step out. And they immediately can see me and start rushing towards me again. Now, it does not help for me to move back behind the table because they're going to keep moving to the last position that they knew I was at. So they're going to keep coming this direction. So it's not useful to try to break contact if they have continuous visual on the place you were at previously. You can't just duck behind the table, crouch, and magically they forget you're here. Um, so they're going to keep moving until they get to the spot they last spotted me, unless they get distracted by something else, of course. But as long as you're aware that they're there and you've got convenient terrain, even in lit conditions, you might be able to use that terrain to crouch behind and be able to move from position to position in a stealthy manner. So that's the first demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and kill these guys just so they don't bother me while I do this next part. Okay, so let's talk about the mechanics. Now, when you move into crouch mode, there's a couple things you do need to be careful of. First, the indicator here will have a C for crouch. Second, watch the actual movement cost. So this number right here. When I move with crouching on grass, now I am wearing clown shoes to kind of uh, <laughs> make this more obvious. So 264 points to move a space along the grass here with clown shoes in crouch mode. If I turn crouch mode off, and now we're back in walk mode, 132 points. So you can see it basically doubles the movement cost. So you do have to be careful when you're using crouch, and you also have to be careful to know if you're in crouch. If you seem to be moving slow or the zombies are all of a sudden moving fast, double check to make sure you're not in crouch mode when you didn't intend to be. But basically, the crouch mode will double the movement cost from walking. Now, another effect it has is it makes your walking more silent, so it actually cuts down on the amount of noise you make. So if you're crouching in the darkness, you can actually cut down on the amount of noise you make while you're moving around. So that's another benefit that it has. And again, I don't know the exact formulas or figures. Feel free to research or experiment with your, your own information uh, or the PR to try to find that out. But you are quieter while you're crouch moving. So, those are the main points I wanted to cover there. Last thing I want to talk about is the hotkey process. So, by default, once this rolled out, it actually changed the normal run-walk command 
which is the quotation mark. It's cycled between run, walk, and crouch. Now, I don't have mine set that way, and I'll show you how I did that here in a second. But in my opinion, for older players especially who were so used to the run, walk key, it caused problems. I, my preference is to have the crouch on a separate key. And here's how you can go about making sure you don't accidentally crouch suicide yourself by uh, moving into crouch mode accidentally um, and then having your movement costs go through the roof and get caught by zombies. So if we go to the key bindings and we scroll down just a bit, right there. All right, so at the top list here, cycle move mode is how it's normally set by default. So usually this key, the quotation mark, is on this line. I've unbound it in my version, so I've removed it from this location. That's where it would cycle between run, walk, and crouch. What I've done instead is I've moved it down to the toggle run. If you do that, basically it returns things to the way they used to be. You just use that same exclamation point key and it'll move you between run, walk, run, walk, run, walk. Crouch will no longer be in that mix. And then if you would like to use the crouch option, you can set your own hotkey for crouch specifically. You just in my case, I set it to the backspace key, so when I tap the backspace, it moves to crouch mode. Tap it again, it moves me back into run-walk mode. Um, and that works much better for me, just because my muscle memory after thousands of hours of play kept getting me in trouble with having that crouch inserted into the mix. But, like I said, if you just move it from this line to this line, it'll return things to the way they were. Should you choose not to use crouch, then that's fine. It'll be working like it was, but if you would like crouch to be enabled, just put your own toggle key for the crouch via this line. That's pretty much it for this quick tip. Hope you found the information helpful. As always, your kind support is very much appreciated. Pass the word, let folks know about the channel and the content, and let me know if you have any further suggestions for future episodes of the Quick Tip series or the University series. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a great day and stay safe out there.